Hi students. Now we are on to our next question from the exercise question point one. Question number four. A, a figure is given and the information given in the question are perimeter is given as eight point seven centimeter and this is the figure in the question. Okay. Uh, value of one side is given one point eight. The other side is given three point six. And the question is to ask the value of the third side. Fine. So how can we find the value of the third side? We have another information also about perimeter. So with the equation of the perimeter, we can find the uh, value of the side C. Okay. What is the perimeter? Perimeter according to our equation P is equal to three sides. Okay, sum of the three sides of a triangle. For a triangle, perimeter is equal to sum of all the three sides of the triangle. So what? Uh, both sides, three sides are A plus B plus C. So perimeter given is equal to 8.7, and A is given as 1.8 plus B is given as 3.6 plus C. This is the side we need to find. So I am reversing the uh, equation. So C plus 3.6 plus 1.8 is equal to 8.7. This is our form of the equation. Now I am going to sum up these two parts. C plus 3.6 plus 1.8 will be 5.4. Okay, that is equal to 8.7. And therefore, C is equal to. I am making this uh, positive 5.4 into the other side of the equal to. So the plus will become minus. So 8.7 minus 5.4, and our answer will be 3.3 centimeter, which is the value of the third side of the triangle. Okay, students. Now we are on to our next question. Question number five from the exercise question point one. I will read the question. The question is that Julie has built a kennel whose base is in the shape of a rectangle of dimensions hundred centimeter by forty centimeter. Okay. She wants to put a fence around it. Find the amount of fencing required in meters. This is our question. Okay, uh, from the information uh, in that question, I have uh, drawn a rectangle of dimensions 100 by 40 centimeter. Okay, uh, it's the base of the that is the down part of a kennel, and this will be the uh, shape 100 centimeter by 40 centimeter. This is the dimension given in the question, and she wants to put a fence around it. A fence around uh, these dimensions. So find the amount of fencing required in meters. Okay. This is our question. Now, in order to find the fencing around in meters or of this dimensions, which means that we need to calculate the perimeter of this rectangle. Okay, this is the base part of a. This is the base part of the cannon that Julie is going to prepare, and we need to find the uh, fencing. How much meters? Where? Uh, how much meters are needed to put a fence around this dimension? This is our question. So, while calculating a fence around this. Rectangle, which means they are asking to calculate our perimeter of a rectangle. Okay, not to prepare fence, we need to calculate the perimeter. This is the question asked. In, question asked. So, in order to solve it, our perimeter equation. We know for a parallelogram and a rectangle, we are having an equation two into length plus breadth. Okay, here the length is hundred centimeter here, and we also know that the opposite sides will be always equal. So this is hundred centimeter, and here forty given in the question that is the breadth, and the opposite side is equal to forty. Okay, these are the informations given in the question. Now we are uh, doing a correct equation. P is equal to two into L plus B for a Rectangle and also for a parallelogram, and this is the rectangle given, and P given. P is the one we need to find. Two given. L. What is L given? Hundred plus B given. What is the B given? Forty. So two into hundred plus forty is one forty. That is two into one forty is two eighty. Okay, two eighty is our answer in. Sendi meters. In question, it is clearly asked to find the answer in meters. Okay, so we need to make convert this two eighty centimeter into into meter. Fine. So we know that one meter is equal to hundred centimeter. So to get the value in meter, we can divide this two eighty centimeter divided by hundred. Okay, 
not to get this 280 centimeter into meter we can divide this 280 centimeter divided by 100 which will give us the meter 280 divided by 100 will be 2.8 meter okay why to convert to convert centimeter into meter we need to divide the quantity by 100 and the answer will be 2.8 meter okay students now we are on to our the very next question question number six i will read the question the question is that vivek goes for walking to a nearby park which is in the shape of a square of length 850 meter okay a park which is in the shape of a length of a square of length 850 meter so this is that it be the square 850 meter okay one part is 850 length so for we know for a square all the parts are equal so all the four parts will be 850 fine question number six this is our information given and the question is that find the distance covered by him in two rounds and write the answer in kilometer okay the question is that find the distance covered by him by Vivek in two rounds okay how can uh, one round first uh, two rounds calculation will be like this first he started from here and this while he complete one side two side three side four side it makes a round right from here to here this makes the first round so during the first round he covers 850 meter 850 meter 850 meter 850 meter 850 meter four times which means the perimeter of the square right we know that perimeter of the square is p is equal to 4 into a what is the a a is a sign okay so during one round he uh, his calculation will be uh, his the distance covered will be 4 into 850 that is 3000 400 meter fine 3400 meter will be the perimeter and uh, the distance covered by Vivek in one round but the question is that two rounds what is the distance that is the question so uh, first round is over and next he will be having another round from the starting and this will be the end so distance totally covered by two rounds will be distance covered by two rounds will be 3400 into 2 why 3400 into 2 3400 into 1 is the one when he covered it one time and the next time also he covered it, uh, he again covered it one more time so it will be 3400 into 2 and the question is given that two rounds so our answer will be 6800 800 meter okay 6800 meter is the distance covered by Vivek in two rounds okay now in the question it is given that we need to find the answer in kilometers how many kilometers is the question so 6800 into meter we need to get in, uh, kilometer so one meter is equal to one meter is equal to uh, thousand thousand kilometer 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter sorry 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter so 6800 divided by 1000 meter sorry 1000 kilometer will be our answer so it will be 6.8 kilometer i will explain it once more this is the answer we have uh, received in meter and we need to get the answer in kilometer as we know 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter this is this is wrong okay 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter so 6800 meter in order to get in kilometer we can divide we can divide the value by 1000 okay 6800 divided by 1000 our answer will be 6.8 kilometer